Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambeau channel, and I think you're all really going to love and appreciate this video. Uh, it's going to be about what some developers, XRP Ledger developers, have done to save the XRP Ledger. And, and when I when I say save, um, just be clear, I'm not pretending like there was some imminent doomsday scenario, but it's also the case that without people like some of who I'm going to highlight in this video, uh, actually working on the ledger, addressing the real problems that the XRP ledger has been been facing. Without them, uh, the it would, eventually it would have just ceased to function. So even though there wasn't some sort of imminent danger like this, there's real actions that have been taken to save the XRP ledger, and uh, things aren't completely perfect now. But wow, it's incredible because it's it's not just the developers taking action. It's our strong XRP community, which, by the way, is the best community in all of crypto, taking very meaningful action. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. The community rallied together and is fixing the problems. So uh, I want to share with you some of this. But before going further, I do want to be clear, I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice. And you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos all up on the internet but, uh, about crypto stuff. But just as a hobby and just for fun. And so I don't want to rehash a bunch of stuff from previous videos. Uh, all you really need to know going into this is that the, there have been scaling issues, in particular in recent days, not because of uh, transactions per second, which we're nowhere near bumping up against, because you know probably at this point that the XRP ledger can handle up to 1,500 transactions per second, but we ran into problems for a number of reasons because uh, there's a lot of non-XRP transaction activity on the ledger, including, you know, it could be a number of things, including just a bunch of people accessing their account balance, you know, just pulling data from the ledger that does take uh, resources effectively to do that. Uh, perhaps the biggest culprit, and I, I'd, I'd love to, get, and I'll continue to get more insight from developers. I have been doing that, uh, you know, I've been reporting on that. But it does seem like a huge culprit has been all of these airdrops you may be aware of that have been occurring on the XRP ledger and trust lines getting set up. There's just been so many people hitting the XRP ledger. It hasn't really been tested in, in such a way. And so uh, there is a Witsay Wind who is a, the, 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 uh, one of the guys at XRPL Labs, which was funded through Ripple Spring Initiative, which has since been rebranded to Ripple X. And uh, understandably, he was under a ton of pressure and a ton of stress. And for a longer period of time, then most of us realize, like, I didn't even under, I, I didn't know it until recent days. And you can see here is a tweet from him, from Witsay One, developer on the XRP Ledger on December 2nd, which reads as follows. And, and as I read this, like, I, can, I feel nothing but sympathy. He's just working his tail off. And, uh, and he wrote the following, I feel like S word. So I'm censoring there. Uh, I want to scream and cry. My entire team is spending every day giving 400% to build a reputation. We built a product on the XRP ledger. XRPL fee escalation analysis? XRPL labs. Buying extra hardware? XRPL labs. Support? XRPL labs. Webcare? XRPL labs. Sleep? None. And so this this is uh, clearly been going on longer than we realize. In fact, there's another tweet from him also on December 2nd, and he wrote, I've been at this with a select few for almost six weeks. Six weeks of stress, hardly any sleep, and a lot of XRPL nodes crapping themselves for a wide range of reasons. Six weeks of sounding alarm bells to people behind the scenes. And so... Uh, with the vast majority of us not being a developer, we didn't know that there were problems going on for that long. It's only within the last several days, as I cited, where I started saying, uh, hey guys, just so you know, there's some not so good stuff going on with the XRP ledger, not doomsday stuff, but very bad, very serious, needs to be addressed. Now, the cool thing here is that um, things are much better to this point. E even just a day after that, we'd say when tweeted out the following, thank you for heartwarming, uh, for your heartwarming messages. They really mean a lot to the XRPL Labs team and to me personally. Many asked how they can help slash contribute. We gave this a lot of thought. There's a way we feel we can actually build a stronger XRP ledger together. And this is what I wanted to highlight. And I want to be clear too. I want to state this before we even get into this any further. I'm going to be putting a link in the description below. And if any of you would like to contribute, because you actually can, like money actually does help here, uh, it would go directly to XRPL Labs, and we'll talk about what this actually means here. 
but so many people did end up uh, jumping in rallying here. And so take a look at this. This is from December 3rd from the official XRPL Labs account tweeted out the following because they thought about it long and hard. It, like, it, costs, it costs money to run full history nodes and, and regular nodes. And, and so it, they needed help. They needed help. And this is where, this is, so this is what they proposed. And damn, the community came to the rescues. And as the developers did too, of course. But take a look at this from XRPL Labs. The past weeks have been very challenging. The XRP ledger had to endure a lot of traffic, some bugs, and even downtime. While we can't address all issues at once, one thing is clear. We need more open, publicly accessible XRP ledger node capacity. If we increase the capacity, and in parentheses, right, uh, the amount of simultaneous end users who can be served responses to their queries, like account, balance, transaction, and order book information, in parentheses, the overall user experience will increase and a failing node can be instantly replaced by a spare one. We have received an overwhelming amount of wonderful and heartwarming messages from community members. It is evident that a lot of people wish us well and want to help us helping the XRP ledger. We have given this a lot of thought. Running nodes and especially maintaining nodes is really hard for individuals. At XRPL Labs, we're experts at setting up and maintaining XRP ledger infrastructure. The infrastructure we already operate is being put to good use, not only by some wallet, XUMM, their some wallet, their product, uh, but by the entire ecosystem. Because we want to give everybody a chance to contribute, and because we feel the network would actually benefit significantly by the contributions the ecosystem can make, we launch our adopt a piece of a node initiative. And, and this is the coolest damn thing here. So here's the page. This is the page that I'm going to link you to. And you can see the URL at the top here, but I'll link so you can just click on it in case you do want to jump in and contribute. Um, lots has already been contributed. So it looks like they're already up to uh, 105,000 euros at the time that I'm recording this. And, um, and here's the conversion rate. Um, one, Yeah, so here you go. This is the euro to USD conversion rate because I know that like half of my audience is in the United States. <laughs> so you're like, euros, what about United States dollars? So you can, here I just typed in $20,000 and you can see, in, uh, I'm sorry, 20,000 euros, which is equivalent to 22,585 euros just uh, to get you a feel for monetarily what this is. So it's, there's not that big a difference, but there is, of course, here. And so there were there were different uh, effectively benchmarks that have been hit and are still getting hit. I remember when I was checking this out um, much earlier today, uh, we weren't quite uh, weren't quite at this level. So it looks like money's still flowing in, and this is meaningful. Look, if, so if I'm reading this correctly, it looks like they're already at this threshold where four full history and four non full history nodes are uh, are going to be uh, the hardware fort's going to be purchased, set up, and, and they're going to run it here. And as it turns out, since just launching this uh, adopt a piece of a you know, the extra of a node on the XRP ledger, uh, since it's launched within the last few days, there have been uh, currently, as you can see on the screen, 435 people financially contributing to this. And these are just these are community members. These these are regular folks within our community that care and and they just want the best for the XRP ledger, and people are just coming together. And, uh, and some people are setting up um, monthly contributions, so it's just automatic recurring support. Some people are offering one-time contributions. So you can see uh, on the screen here, if you want to take a look, uh, some options that they set up by default. But you can choose your own uh, uh, amount to donate. And you can even donate an XRP if you want to. So if you care to have an impact here, and, and if you just want to contribute in, to whatever degree you can, if you're so inclined, uh, you can help. So hopefully... This will contribute to, you know, uh, alleviating some of the scaling issues that, and other problems that the XRP ledger has been running into um, to, to this point. And, um, and so then there was also this. I thought this is kind of cool, too. Uh, this is from uh, We'd Say When, and he shared a picture, and he wrote, um, and he's got his, uh, his two uh, kids there in the picture, too, and he wrote, For those wondering what an XRP ledger full history server looks like, here are Arwen and Quinn inspecting one. 
And uh, then uh, here, I'll just pull it full screen so you can see what it looks like. Uh, yes. <laughs> Uh, then he also wrote, thanks to all your amazing, heartwarming, generous donations, I'll be ordering at least two of them next week. I'll post pictures of setting them up. Now, that was on December 3rd, and we're a couple days past that at this point. And so it looks like there's going to be more than two getting set up because a lot more funds have been rolling in. And it's pretty cool stuff here. Uh, here's a, a tweet from uh, XRPL Labs on the 4th, actually, from their official Twitter account. What an overwhelming amount of support, XRP community. Our Adopt-A-Node initiative already made it past three full history and three uh, non-full history nodes. This is incredible. With those new nodes, three out of 21 full history nodes powering XRPLcluster.com are community provided. Well, how about that? I thought, but I, th I thought this was just the Ripple project, some sort of centralized thing. What's going on here? What's going on with this whole community thing jumping in? <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, then there was also this from XRPL Labs. Next week, the new servers will be ordered. We'd say when we'll install them and add them to the cluster. Uh, at Zerpinator, you can see here on Twitter, uh, Zerpinator will be present to document video, video uh, in, in parentheses, the video of the process. So that's cool. I like that. So, you know, of course, accepting money like this, I appreciate that they're being very forthright with, with how the funds are being spent and, you know, making sure that they're following through as promised and documenting it so that the whole community can actually see what it means. And given that this is going to be on the XRP ledger, which is a public ledger, you can verify that this actually exists yourself on top of the documentation anyway. And so uh, here was today, just six hours ago, some tweets from Wheat Say Wind. He wrote on this topic, It really is mind-blowing. This quickly became a real significant upgrade to the public XRP ledger infrastructure, an upgrade that can make the difference between a bad and good XRP ledger user experience. The recurring donations, which as of six hours ago are 26,000 euros annually, um, also cover electricity, connectivity, bandwidth, and parts slash replacements. I'm so proud and happy that all of you will soon be connecting to infrastructure you made possible. Let me just pause right there. Let me read that number again. Just based on, as of six hours ago, it was already at a point where that's 26,000 euros annually recurring in recurring donations. Whew. I've said so many times the XRP community is the best community in all of crypto. That is fact. It's not even up for debate, okay? It's not It's not even a subjective opinion. It's objective fact as far as I'm concerned. And, um, and, and so he then wrote, uh, Upcoming week, I'll share details about the lead time for the hardware I'm about to order. Right now, we're looking at over 20% increased XRP ledger public node capacity thanks to the community. And so think about this. This, is, this goes back to David Schwartz, you know, co-creator of the XRP Ledger, who has stated many times and has given presentations on this. He said that the best incentive is no incentive. Because you think with mining, the incentive to, uh, you know, <laughs> mining mining can be profitable for some, right? And, and so what's that? What, what's how, what does that do to the cost of transactions, though? Whereas here, we just want the damn blockchain to work. And so it's not going to result in outrageously high fees. There, there, there are people that actually care enough to contribute, though, and which is how it always should be. And it's what was envisioned, and it's what's happening in real life. How freaking cool is this? So it's I just I don't know I just I feel really good after you know a few of the videos where I put out where I was I was just reporting on the reality at the time things not looking so hot scaling issues to see this. Uh, this is going to go a long way. And there are other things that I cited in a, a video yesterday that I think clearly are, are going to help tremendously. So anyway, again, if you care to uh, contribute financially, uh, I will go ahead and link in the details section below. Go ahead and click on that. Uh, um, I'll go ahead and uh, wrap up here. Would love to hear what you think about this in the comment section below. Would really love because I think this is a cool freaking story. I am not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say are right. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Nambo.